Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So here I am working on a basement. I have the outside dug up. I have my I-beams in place. Uh, here is the I-beam setup. Uh, these are just concrete stakes. I have a two by eight or two by 10. And then uh, these are screw jacks. I'll put links to all this down the bottom. And then these are wide flange, four inch I-beams, uh, 13, I think it's number 13. Don't quote me on that. I think it's number 13. Here's the top. I extended these a little higher, these beams, because this wire runs right down through there. Uh, all these are cut about 30 inches, uh, two by eights on this one. Carriage bolts going through, bolting them to the existing. Here's some of the space. It's the, the wall is not that bad down this way. And then if you come down here, it starts getting worse and a little bit worse, but you can see all the I-beam set up. Here's the sump pump, and then over here uh, is probably the worst section. You can tell where it's sheared off. So that's my finger, not that far, sheared off. So the bottom has came in on this wall. Let me take you outside and I'll show you. All right, so there's the excavator. Worked out pretty good. Uh, so uh, you do not want to dig this bottom block. You want that, you want some weight to be against that. And then uh, right here's my shear mark. So hopefully I can get this pushed back. But you can tell how much it's came in. Crack. This is all gonna hopefully come back, come out this way. This ends bad. And then I try to leave a little bit of dirt down here on the end to uh, keep the corner together. So if not, you're gonna blow that corner out and just push that corner basically out of the other corner. Look at that root. That probably had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> it continued on down through here. That root came right on down through here. All right, I'm going inside and going to go push it. I gotta get up here. Slowly start turning them in. It's gonna pop and creak and do all that. But basically, I just go one by one, slowly start turning them in, each one. So I'm gonna do that and I'll bring you guys back, show you guys my results. It's night number two of working on this basement. I probably look terrible. I don't have my front screen on my thing shown. This is not an easy job. Uh, there's nothing about moving these basement walls that is easy. I just wanna get that out there. Uh, I have to reset these beams, but I was able to get it most of the way back. I just have a little tiny lip here and I'm just done pushing. I'm done trying to get it uh, back any farther. So yeah, you can see. So I was really struggling. I was really struggling to get this back. You can see all the bent, um, yeah, all the bent thing. I mean, you see that one, it's majorly tweaked. Uh, yeah, so I was really struggling pushing this wall back. It's probably the, the toughest wall that I pushed back, blew this bottom block out. Um, I think that that was already kind of deteriorated to look like there was like a covering over it. But um, this wall has been pretty tough. I wasn't able to get, so this top plate right here, needs to go back and I, I just can't get it. Um, yeah, I, I just can't get it. And that's the way some of these basement jobs go. Uh, they're not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna go back 100% exactly. I actually ended up having to add another beam, which I'm gonna leave in place. So I was not able to push it back with that beam, even using the trick of sliding, um, pushing the beam out and sliding the wood down through here, I was not able uh, back so I take like a two by six or a one by three or something slide it back behind here and uh, That you know gives you a little bit larger area that you're pushing try to open the cracks um, Just struggling. Yeah, just struggling uh, getting it back. I, I was just just unable to push it back completely my wife uh, Did buy me this coffee, which I wish she would stop doing uh, it doesn't make me feel very good most of the time but uh, yeah so she did buy me this. Just give me a little pep. I was really, really down and out on this job. All 
All right. Here you go. I just uh, I dropped cement or used mortar mix, rapid set mortar mix. Patched these holes. I ran it all the way along that crack down there at the bottom, but there's very little lippage. Uh, this is the worst block, which I actually think I was pushing this block out somehow. So I think it was like catching on this block, pushing out. So I just went ahead and stopped. Black coating will feel the, fill these little micro cracks. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. It's pretty darn straight. All right, I'm applying the fiber foundation coating. Now, when I'm cleaning out a unit, I save everything, uh, everything that I think might be usable. So here's an old broom, snap the handle off, uh, do it quite off, quite frequently. Uh, one tip is try to find a broom with a very stiff bristles. So all I do is dip it in there. I kind of keep my hand right here. I try to just keep one hand in the stuff. It. it's extremely hard to spread uh, yeah I'm uh, not going all the way to the bottom because I'm letting that dry I'll hit that last well I think I deleted all of the final clips of this but basically the first coat is the tar I tar the wall I let that dry for normally one to two days this is the foundation coating that I normally use I get all these products from Menards and then the second layer is this uh, peel and stick uh, self-adhesive membrane and then I use this dimple board and I normally just attach it in a few spots right across the top with uh, tap cons and that is it here's a look at the wall all done on the inside I think it turned out pretty good can't complain this one this one did not go very smooth but it is what it is uh, house is done i'll take you guys outside and show you that and then uh, the next video will be the before and after of this property and that is done that is it it will wrap up this series thanks for watching